Okay. So phylum. Um, other phylum include Chordata, which humans exist in, and uh, Amphipoda, which includes spiders and crabs and stuff. It's like a picture of all the different phylums. <laughs> Did I draw that? No, I don't have that time. But I mean, it's, it's really cool, right? But I mean, it shows you like there's like bacteria, there's a jellyfish, a worm, you know, snail. Okay. Anyway, um, so relation to the planet, amazingly mollusks account for 23% of all marine life, which is huge, and the mollusk group oh, contains <laughs> <laughs> squids, octopus, and snails. I didn't know that was going to happen. So that's a snail. Squid. What? Squid. Yeah, squid. Sorry. I can't see. Um, defining features. Mollusks are so diverse, it's extremely difficult to define things they all, that they all share. Two things biologists can agree on. A mantle that contains significant cavities uh, used for breathing and excretion and the structure for a central nervous system. Part of the beauty of mollusks is that they <laughs> use many of their body parts for a variety of functions. Are you taking a video of this? <laughs> no. This is not okay. You and them back. Um, many are eaten throughout the world, excluded octopus, and by the same token, some of those same animals are dangerous and possess the capability to injure or car cause fatality in humans. Um, like I said, they're, they're poisonous. Um, mollusks also um, have, for centuries, also been the source of important luxury goods, notably pearls, mother of pearl, tyrant purple dye, and sea silk. Uh, their shells have also been used as money in some pre-industrial societies. Um, what? <laughs> Mr. Curtin. What's sea I don't know, but that's what I said. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, I can Google search it if you want, but yeah. Anybody here ever heard of sea Probably so. Oh, it's like, I don't know. Go away. Um, There's a picture of a pearl. Yeah. Can you, I don't know if you can see it very well, but yeah. Um, okay, fun fact. There are around 9,300,000 recognized ex ex extant species, making it the largest marine phylum, uh, which is about 23% of all named marine organisms. Um, cilia, which we talked about a lot in this class, um, play various important jobs in, mollus in the mollusk feeding process. And um, just like I was saying, like they use a lot of their um, um, organs and stuff. Hey, can you be quiet over there? Can, uh, for a variety of functions, um, they have gills, and I was just—it was really cool that the range of size for mollusks is huge, uh, from 12,192 millimeters to a mere 1.5 millimeters. And like um, the big number is squids, like the giant squid, and which can get up to like 40 feet. And then the small number is like this really tiny sea snail. Anyway. It's like a trick, because like one of these is not like the other ones. Yeah, I see it. Uh, well, you can't. Oh my god. Yes, raw, right? Oh, I see it. Yes. Highlight it. Close up. Yeah, close up. Yeah, I was really bored. So. Yeah. Wow. Okay, come on. One of them is not like the other. Hey, don't worry about it. <laughs> How is that connected to mollusks? I don't know, but... I mean, <laughs> well, you mollusks it, kind of wouldn't like be able to like identify that with yeah. their inferior yeah. brain. Like, no, like an exclamation point upside down, because you, you have the little head and then the... Yeah, hey, she knows. She understands me. Okay, I'm done. Okay, um, all right, thank you. Yeah. Anybody else want to go now and start?